Hello, all of my Starlight Entertainment customers and employees. Welcome to the very first devlog of Survive the Planet Plex, where we'll be talking about all the things that have happened within the recent month of March. I did not plan any of that, and it came off straight off the tongue. Holy crap. Well, um, hi guys. Um, Daylight here. And uh, if you guys don't know, I made Survive the Planet Plex. You might have played it. You might have not. You might have heard of it. Um, but we're gonna be talking about all the things that um that have happened within February and March. I won't really be talking about February because February is when it came out, but March is where everything kind of went, you know, um, kind of where all, all the updates happened. I'll be explaining a lot of things that happened during that devlog, uh, that happened during the time period of March, um, February. You know, from the very first teaser that was a teaser <laughs> teaser in um. January. So let's get straight into the devlog. Let's start off with thank you for everyone who has been playing or who's been up to date with Survive the Planet Plex. Um, it has been a, it has been it's been a fun ride. Um, this pat the past few months. Um, for me, you know, announcing the video back in um me announcing the game back in January to now people playing it up here to April. And. I, I just have to say a big thank you for everyone who's played it or uh, who has watched the tapes and uh, are trying to keep up with the lore um, and make their own theories about that because that's a pretty cool thing to have people make videos on your map. That's a pretty good feeling and people having um, interactions with your map and all that. It's just it's just a really cool experience. And I'm glad that I get to um, I get to publish maps for people now again and um, people get to play those maps that I publish. But let's talk about all the way back, long, long ago, about four months ago when I had the plan or um, basically in December when I had the idea to make Survive the Planet Plex. Now, I don't really know when. Um, I kind of forgot when the uh, first teaser came out. But I remember, um, I, I think I was in my bed or something. But um, I was just, you know, remembering all these I had made FNAF maps back then. I had made original, um, I had made the original FNAF 1 and FNAF 2 map, and people played that, and they really did enjoy those maps. And I was, like, kind of just, like, I want to do that again. But then, like, I kind of stopped in 2020 because, uh, you know, pandemic and all that. We had to go on Zoom and all that. That was, that was a fun experience, was it? Um, but it, it, was a, it was a truly fun experience when I did make those maps. And then 2020 came, and then I kind of had just fully stopped making maps. I was kind of, I guess, overwhelmed, overworked with having to make BR maps all the time. Because, you know, I did, like, making the BR map back then, back in 2019, 2020, back in 2020. Um, but then I just felt burnt out, burnt out. You know, BR maps are such a hassle to make, and I didn't really feel like that I, as a creator, was was, like, putting my full, you know, mechanic, um, like, aesthetic, like, skills to, like, its its maximum. I wasn't pushing myself. I was making the same stuff over and over again. And then that's when I had the idea um, to make Survive the Planet Plex. That, that was a truly crazy um, thing for me, that I was going to make a, a, a map that was going to have so many different things in it. Um, and as you've seen this, update two is out, so I'm, uh, not update two, update two is not up, update two is done, and I'm really, and I'm gonna see how long I can go for without trying to spoil anything for update two, um, but I, I was amazed, and that, I, that I can make something like this, and I, and I had a fun experience, it was like, I was actually, I wanted to get up. I wanted to actually play Fortnite. I wanted to actually go into creative. I wanted to build a map that I actually enjoyed. That no one was forcing me to make. It was a secret project that I I, I had announced. And it was a fun experience. But I'm going to tell you what did inspire it. Um, the Q&A video um, is going to come out. I don't know when. I didn't put it on my schedule for April. But um, the Q&A video is out. And, people, and I saw someone ask me, um, was the map always inspired by um security breach from security breach no it wasn't um and i'm only answering this question no it wasn't 
it was actually inspired by someone um, who had made a FNAF map back in December. Um, I will say the name, and not many people like him. Um, you guys, I, I don't know why, personally, um, but you guys don't, you, you guys might like, like this person, but I was inspired by his map, um, Pocket Dallas, actually. And you guys might say, wow, that, that guy that we all hate, um, he inspired you to make this map? And I will straight up say, yeah, that kid, um, inspired me to make Survive the Planet Plex. I saw a video of his one day. It was like the final set blitz thing or whatever. And I was like, I can make something like that. I can make a map bigger and better than his. Not saying his map isn't good. It definitely is. But I, I, I was like, I can make a map that people would find scary. That they could search around the place and find lore bits everywhere. That they could go to YouTube or Discord and find lore. And then the lore could connect with the game and... I made the blueprints. I will show you guys the blueprints if I didn't already pull it up. But um, here, uh, here are the blueprints. You can see if you go into the game and then you compare the blueprints to the actual game, you can see there isn't roughly too many differences. Everything is generally the same, except uh, the basement, which is actually going to be a conveyor belt area, believe it or not, before I changed it to a gigantic like oil rig area. Um, so that was that was a cool experience. But when I was building... I was like, how am I going to make this? I was like, I wanted this to be big. I didn't want this to be a, a like just your ordinary FNAF, like rip off FNAF, like in, you know, Fortnite type of game. I wanted this to make, I wanted this to be big. I wanted this to, um, for everyone to be, to get loud, get excited, you know, for this project because it was going to be a humongous project that I was making bigger than my BR map. You know, this was something that, I, I enjoy, like I said. So, I I made the blueprint, right? And then I thought of ideas. I was like, how could I make a story that could fit with this map? What would I name it? Um, And, and I, I'll tell you, I think if I remember one of the names, um, one of the names was it was the Light Entertainment, um, was survived the Light Plex. Uh, before I changed it to Starlight, it wasn't originally Starlight. If some people remembered who were in the server originally, the map or the Discord server was not called Starlight. It was called like Light um, Entertainment or something like that. And then I changed it to Starlight. And I stuck with that name. And then like for the planet theme, that was because like, you know, my thing with suns, uh, with the planets and outer space and all that junk. Um, you know, I was, I, and then I made the animatronics. Um... So, originally, and since you guys are watching this devlog, watch to the very end because I am going to be dropping some old stuff. Um, originally was going to be used, but I didn't use it. I was originally going to not have planets. I was going to use custom animatronics um, that I had originally made way back in, like, 2021. Uh, like, early 2021, I had made my own custom animatronics, and I was going to use those personally as characters but i was like i was gonna scrap that idea and i was gonna make new animatronics um and all that but you know what the funny part was during all of that i was still in school and i had to bounce between homework family all that you know all that kid stuff and i had to find a balance and i did so during school i had like an off period um i have an off period and i i, I was just on my phone the entire time and i had made the animatronics that you see, the animatronics that you are, um, that you see in the Discord, those animatronics I made in school. I was just bored out of my mind. And I will say that also, everything uh, relating to start, um, the Starlight, you know, entertainment stuff, all of that was in school. So the, the training tape video, that was in school. Um... Before the voices of interrogation and the voices before the voices of the uh, driving MP4, that was also at school before I had did the voice acting for those characters. Those were I had made those all in school, and then I had fully built up a storyline. I had told myself this is what the storyline is gonna look like. This is how it's gonna be. This is how it's gonna end. And 
right now it's going perfectly. No one knows yet. No one knows. No one can finally, no, no one can get a, a real good grip on the storyline, right? No one can get a full good grip on it. And I'm and I'm thankful for that. I've give I've given a couple of my friends a whole a bunch of lore drops that you know you do see in the videos, but people don't really take too much time, do they, to to look at every nook and cranny, connect the dots, connect the pieces, um, in those videos. They don't look into the description, which I should say I should say, if a Starlight Entertainment video comes out, check the bloody description, guys, because I I'm telling you. You check the description, you will find some lore in there that you can piece together the puzzle more. I drop dates of when those videos came out. You know, I do all that stuff. Devlogs, um, the chat logs in the Discord. You know, you can connect those up like a puzzle piece. Go into the game, play it, play a solo match of of the game, and go look for lore. I mean, like all of it's in your face. Um, and I was really, really, you know. I was excited to to drop the project. Um, and I was like, how do I want to make this on, like, just like your normal FNAF Security Breach game? And I was like, straight up, I'm going to make a trash maze. I'm going to make a basement. And then, you know, I was going to do all this stuff. But then, like, the thing that does it is, like, mechanics. People... Um, most of the people who play the game love the mechanics and they don't know how much of a hassle it is. If you go into replay mode and you fly outside of the, um, you fly outside of the map and you go and look around the grid island, there is a lot of stuff everywhere. Uh, it might be all in one gigantic area or it might not be. But the thing is, if you fly out there and you look, it's like, that doesn't look like too much. But I'm telling you, not from the sequencer devices in the in the devices, um, the trigger device that you see, there are buttons and there are different things all over the place that are all connected. And that was me having to figure all that stuff out and that was a pain. And I'm glad that it was over with. But then like then again, it I was having a fun experience. And then came the multiple endings. Wow, I had never in my entire creative map making career or whatever was gonna make custom endings. I was like, how am I even gonna make custom endings? And then a device got released a couple of months ago, whatever, it was the end game device or whatever you call it. And basically that was a life savior because you could have multiple different endings or multiple different, um devices ending the game on a certain thing that you did so there's a lot of different endings in the game there's a completion ending uh where you just complete the night the fire ending you gotta go somewhere in the basement and then you got the escape ending <coughs> the cannon ending <coughs> um where you have to go find a phone and then you call you call a certain someone who i'm not gonna name drop um but you have to go find a phone and stuff like that and that was a fun experience um and then Wow, vents, um, the vents and stuff like that, vents and, you know, the nooks and crannies and everything and, and all the stuff that you could jump on top of and hide from the security guard and hide from the animatronic. Game scary. If you, if you've played it with me once, twice, maybe five times, maybe ten times or more, uh, cause people really love the map. It's scary. It is a truly scary experience. It, it makes me scream. It, like, I'm scared myself. When, since, and that's coming from the crater, I got scared, like, uh, so many times in, with me playing with my friends, I was, I, there was times where I almost screamed because of how, like, how scary it was, how dark it is, how much of, like, the ambience of, um, just, like, hearing nothing. You don't, you don't know where the animatron could be coming from. In fact, that there are four characters who are all going after one night guard. That, that was a that, that was a one v four and they're all hunting you. They could be anywhere and you wouldn't know it. You would have to rely on visual sound effects maybe, or you'd have to rely on your on your headset audio to to find which like site they're coming from. And that was scary because I remember a couple of days ago, um, I was in the office. I think it was like yesterday or two days ago. I was in the office and I had my right headphone off my ear. So all I could hear was from the left side. And then 
I hear my friends like start screaming and because they're the animatronics, they're like screaming like, go get him, go get him. And I put my left headset back on and I can hear from behind me because I'm in the office and I can hear from behind me is someone in the vents. So I scream, I jump and I start running and I, it was just like the best experience ever. And I'm, I, I was pretty excited um, and it was pretty scary. It was pretty funny on all the stuff that's happened, all the clips and stuff. I wish I could record um, all the stuff that's happening. But in, and if we do play, I definitely will. But now we're kind of off the uh, off of that topic. I want to talk about um, update, you know, I was going to say update two, but update one. It was a small update, but it did at the, the, um, the save station. It was broken at first for the first couple of tries, but then we finally got it down and that really helped. That really helped. And the save station really did, you know, it really did, does up the chances of the night guard winning. Because uh, you have to survive for a whole hour. And it's like, wow, daylight, a whole hour. Do you think someone can survive for a whole hour? Yes, you can. You can survive for a whole hour. Hour. I know. I have seen, uh, I've played with my friends who have survived up to 30 to 40 minutes. So you could definitely survive for at least an hour and with update two coming along it's it's gonna change a lot and it's gonna make animatronic lives easier but harder and it's gonna make you know security guards lives easier but also harder and you guys have to kind of work with the, the changes that are gonna come because i'm not saying anything but there are over 20 20 things that are coming to the game in update two that's pretty crazy but uh, what else, what else do I really want to talk about? I mean, like, the devlog is here, and, and I, this is just me kind of rambling about how good the Plex is, but it's like, first, you have to go, for every good thing, there's bad things in it, and yeah, there are bugs, um, there are, there are bugs in the game, and, and I'm not gonna get every single bug, but people do find the experience exhilarating, they do find it scary, and when we do hit 100 plays, on Survive the Planet Plex, you guys will receive a reward for doing such a thing. I will tell you guys what happens when you guys, you know, hit 100 plays, but until then, that's not going to happen. But uh, Survive the Planet Plex, update one is, um, it was, it was good. It was small, but update two is going to make for that. And it's going to, you know, it's going to change strategies. It's going to change everything that you guys all y'all's pathing. I mean, like, there are going to be so many different things that, you know, different exits, different entries. I mean, like, the same ways that you guys went every single time when the game started, it's going to be completely changed up. And you're going to have to go find, make a new pathing to, to get, you know, to get to, you, to your end goal. And now I want to talk about a little bit of lore. Uh, if you guys did stick around for me just rambling for about 20 minutes, we're going to talk about a little bit of lore. So, um, I mean, like, Survive the Planet Plex has the lore. There are notes everywhere. I wouldn't say everywhere exactly, but you can, you do, you will find a note, like, in at least one area. Look for stuff. The game might be scary, and it might be, you know, fun, but I'm, I'm, I guarantee you, look for stuff. If you're the person who's, you know, who wants, who looks for lore, and BR maps and stuff like that, and looks for lore inside our different horror games and stuff like that. Definitely look for everything from the point place. And just know when all when you've thrown off all the animatronics and you're away from them and they're away from you. Search, 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 search. Look for an area. Um, look for something because. Those things can help you. There are things that you will you will benefit from. The Crusher. Um, I have seen yet to anyone actually figure out the code. People have found all three pages, but they don't know what the code is exactly. So find the find the Crusher codes. Find the old staticky TVs from Chapter One. Find the note pages. Find all stuff like that because that is gonna help you. That is gonna get you to where you wanna be. By the end, because you and and I loved love when I played Fnatic Security Breach. That on my first run, I didn't even find everything. There was no possible way you could find everything, 
And this follows exactly behind that. You're not gonna find everything on your first run, but as you keep playing it, you will start noticing more things. And all I'm saying is look for the lore. Look for the theme. What is the, 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 what is the premise of this game? Because I will tell you right now that uh, you guys would not be disappointed um, for the um, the upcoming things that happen that are coming in, and I'm just thankful that you guys are playing my game, you guys are playing my map, and um, I will. And if you guys did watch to the end of the video, I'm gonna drop something for you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop something. So people who haven't watched, I mean, it sucks for you, but if you're here still. Um, and drumroll, please. Uh, you guys are gonna get a um, a book. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys when the release date for that book is coming out. I'm not gonna give you a name drop, but they, um, it's gonna be a book that I'm personally gonna be writing. Um, if I, my friends might might help me with the book, might give me some ideas, but it's gonna be just generally me writing the book and. Um, I'm like, I don't know how many pages the book might be. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but it's gonna be containing a lot of lore. Uh, if we're gonna take all, if we're gonna look at the FNAF books. Some of it might be canon, some of it might be not. But in in the end, um, I am making a book, and I will say this as well. If you stick to the end, there after update two, there is one more update, and that's update three, the final update, and then, um. Well, and then, yeah, that's, and, it, and it's all fun. Update 3 might happen. It, it might not, you know. Depends if update 2 is uh, good enough as it sounds, and I hope it is. But uh, update 3 will be the uh, final update, and then something something exciting will happen. Exhilarating. So, thank you guys. Thank you all of my employees. Thank you all my wonderful, beautiful customers. Uh, for for watching the devlog, um, the dev diary of March first about the Planet Plex. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, you hit the subscribe button. Tell me what you would like to see in Survive the Planet Plex. And um, I guess that's it. Bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye now.